guys welcome back to my channel so uh, I'm with Kim today and yes. we are at Kim's place and um, we just filmed um, a get ready with us and we uh, well we did this makeup looks so if you want to know how we did this uh, then keep on watching yes and thumbs up thumbs up <laughs> So, um, yeah, we are first going to start off with primer. I'm going to use my Essence one and... Um, I'm going to use the Nivea Aftershave Balm and I depotted it in just the empty foundation thingy. And I'm using my e.l.f. powder brush. It's just a buffing brush and I really like to use it with this one. I, I, I just use my hands, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Um, the foundation that I'm going to use is my uh, bourgeois one, and I'm not going. <laughs> oh, she has the same exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I just use my beauty blender pure, and just apply it with. It. And um, I'm going to use my new Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush, and um, I used this in my previous um, tutorial as well. And I really, really like this foundation brush. I'm using my Mac Pro Longwear in NC15, and you're probably using the same. <laughs> yeah, but I have the NW15. So I just use it underneath my eyes and a little bit on the spots that yeah. are shining through. I'm going to do the same, and I'm going to use the concealer version of the Sigma brush. And I'm still using the Beauty Blender because I'm cool like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of forgot about my beauty blender recently. Me too. You have to use the micro mini I gave you. Yeah. You guys all know this one. I don't have to introduce this one. Probably lots of you have already bought this one because of me. It's good stuff. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I'm not sure what I'm going to use, man. Mm, I think I'm just going to use the Anastasia Control Kit. I can't do that, it's just a bit too dark for me, those powders. Although they really, really set my uh, foundation good. Mm -hmm. They are just a bit too dark. I'm not sure which brush I'm going to use. I'm just using both these shades on a big powder brush. And this is a Boozy Shop brush. You Boozy can only shop. get it in Holland and Belgium, I think. Yeah, yeah, they do it's ship. It's new, right? Yeah, they do ship to Belgium. That's about it. It's a very nice uh, online store, actually. I am also going to I'm going to steal Kim's contour kit because I didn't brought mine, and I'm going to use uh, the lightest color to contour my face, which I'm hitting pen on. You hit pen. Yeah, it's crazy because I even I didn't even have it for that long. I think no, you were I I have it longer, and I didn't even hit pen. So I'm crazy. Ooh, I just dropped it. You better not. Break. She broke it! No, no, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm I'm hitting Pam man. I'm yeah. But I also use it when I'm doing makeup on other people or yeah. When a friend comes over and wants me to do her makeup. So maybe it's that, maybe I'm just a crazy maybe contouring. Maybe you just girl. like contouring. Yeah, that could be the case. So I'm actually using the same brush and she she got the same brush set. Yeah. Because, because I it have it. <laughs> yeah, it looked you it just looked so pretty, so I had to buy it as well. You didn't buy it. You got it. Oh yeah, I received it yeah, as a gift. From your boyfriend. Yeah. And my boyfriend didn't buy mine. You want some more? Yes. <laughs> I'm just um, moving on to blush and I'm using uh, this Weva blush brush and there's still some blush left in it so I'm going to use that first. I have no idea what I used. I actually also like to contour my nose with this brush. Yeah, it's a very nice one. I always contour my nose, maybe it's because of that I hit pen. I'm going to use this Freedom Highlighter and it's in the color Brighton and it's from Kim. I'm stealing once again yes. the products. And I have the color Glow too, but I'm, I already um, wore this one so I wanted to try that one out because they are yeah, new. It looks very pretty. 
and they are so pigmented. Yes, they are really pigmented, and it's they are really cheap, and it's kind of a mix between. Um, oh my God! Look at that highlight. <laughs> It's what? a mix between Makeup Revolution and Makeup Academy, I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, something like that. And it's pretty cheap. And, and it's pretty intense. Just look at my highlight. You want more? I want more. You want all of it? Yes. I want to <laughs> bathe in this. So, I actually wore the other one to an event last week. Yeah, last week. Last week. And I was glowing shit. She was glowing so hard. Probably people on the moon saw her highlight. It was <laughs> insane. I love strobing is my kind of thing. I yeah. guess. But I still can't live without my I don't know. Strobing isn't for me. I am going to use my MAC Espresso shadow for my brows on just my Zoeva brow Then line. she broke her Makeup Geek eyeshadow. I actually um, put my Makeup Geek shadows in this MAC uh, palette, but I can't get them out anymore because the <laughs> pens are a bit different than the MAC ones. So I had like um, this metallic um, scoop thing, so no I wanted worries. to kind of whip them out. But I kind of ruined one of my fold eyeshadows and I'm so sad because I can't I can't get them out anymore. So you know, story of my life. <laughs> I'm using the uh what is this? Inglot multicolor bronzing powder and I really love it. It looks like the shimmering brick by Bobby Brown. I yeah, think. Bobby Brown. And I'm just using it on the cheek finish brush. I really love this brush for this. And I have to get my mirror. Otherwise I can't see. Yeah. I always apply so much products onto my face. I'm just using my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the color brunette. And I'm using the Anastasia Dual Ended Brush this is the number seven brush and it's spoolie. And um, I am done with growing them, so I'm going to use my uh, Catrice eyebrow gel. I actually never use a brow gel. I always do that. I kind of like it because um, I have hairs uh, in my brow that really stand down, so I like to brush them upwards. So my brows don't I have look pretty weird. Pretty easy eyebrows. Okay, so I move on to my um, Catrice eyeshadow base for my eyeshadow base. So uh, moving on to the uh, mirror that I am using. This is the Anastasia uh, Temana palette and you probably already know this one. And I'm going to use the color Fresh as my entire base and to kind of set my eyeshadow base as well. And a very large powder shadow whatever brush. I'm just using the lightest contour shade and I use it as a crease. Crease? Crease. Nice. Crease, crease color. Crease color. Crease color. Well, it's not so weird that you hit pen in the palette and use the shit out of it. So Yeah, I use everything out of this palette. But I also use the darker one because they have the shades are really, really nice for eyeshadow. Uh, then I move on to the China Rose color. And I'm just going to use it on a fluffy blending brush. This is kind of a rosy shade. Very pretty. I like it. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I think I am going to use the highlighter Brighton as a brow bone highlight. Because I'm cool like that. Yes. So I'm going to use this shade by Inglot out of my Freedom System palette. I'm not sure which shade is. It is. It's just this is a limited edition um, Freedom System palette. It's the Natural Forest. Yeah, Natural Forest. Natural Forest. So I don't know which shade it is, but just this brownish brick kind of color with gold glitter. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a nice palette. 
I am continuing with this uh, Sangria shade on like a pencil brush from Sigma and I'm um, going to apply it in my outer V area. And um, I'm going to apply it inside my inner corner. So I'm wearing a black jeans, but it's already dirty. So <laughs> one tip: wear ne never wear a black jeans or a white jeans or just, do just don't naked. wear <laughs> don't wear pants while filming YouTube videos. That's like. I actually always, when I film my videos, most of the times I'm just in a sweatpants or something. Yeah, I usually wear my pajama bottoms or yeah, something like that. Okay, so I actually was thinking to use the same color on my lower lash line, but maybe I should go for the green. Just because it's cool. And that would look pretty. I think the green would look good with the orange. I'm not sure which one I'm going for, I think that one. Yeah, and then you can darken it up with the other one. Using a smudger brush from the Zueva brush kit. No, yeah, I like that brush. I'm trying really hard to not make funny faces. <laughs> I'm uh, going to use this Freedom Highlighter once again for kind of the in the empty gaps that I have on my eyes. It looks really weird on camera, man. I don't know. I think I skipped liner and I'm just going to use my Essence Get Big Lashes. Mascara? Or maybe no. Hold on. I am going to. What am I going to what use? What are you going to do? So I'm using the brush I used before on my lid and I'm just smoking that green color out on my lower lash line. So what I plan to do is use the black shadow and then kind of line my uh, lash line just a little bit so it's, you know, there's some action going on. So I actually never wear mascara or anything on my lower lash line but when i do i smoke it out really really big because i have like these little lines on the inside of my eyes and if i don't smoke it out it just is clogging into those oh. little lines and if i do smoke it out it just looks good so okay. it's really weird now i am going to apply the mascara I think I'm going to skip liner also. I'm not sure if I should wear a liner with it. Because I like I don't the know. green. It's pretty intense on the bottom, so. I am going to use a little bit of that green on a more angled smudger. You use this brush, I see. Yeah, for my eyebrows. Brush, yes. Yeah. It's a really nice brush, but I don't. I just used the Anastasia one. You know, I fucked it up. <laughs> that always happens. <laughs> okay, I'm just blending it a little bit. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I should just leave it like this because if I'm going to fix the little bit of unevenness, I'm just fucking it up more. I think. And yeah, I just, just leave it. Yeah. I just sweep away a little bit of the eyeshadow with the buffer brush. Okay. And I'm using this pencil brush with the Freedom Highlighter and I'm going to highlight my inner corners. I'm just going for Pure Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills, that's always good. And I have to look for my mascara because it's 
Okay, so this is, I really like the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks, but this is the only thing I hate. It's, it feel, it looks like that they kind of overfilled the lipsticks on like um, the earlier editions. If you buy one now, they kind of fixed it, but mine is overflowing. So that's the only thing I don't like about Mine doesn't have that, but I yeah, just but you bought, bought it later. later. And I bought this when they first came out, so um, I don't know, they are overflowing. So I'm using the Gosh No Limit Lash Mascara. I really, really like it because it has this crazy shape. I don't know if you can see it. Where's my oh, hand? That's really weird. But I really like it. I am going to use um, social eyes, of course, of course, and uh, this, these are the T's 2.0 uh, ones, and I actually brought Kim social eyes as well. So uh, I'm going to make her <laughs> addicted to them. And um, yeah, I, I only buy the like. I actually never bought eyelashes. I only get the really cheap ones by Born Pretty Store. Yeah, or the the eBay ones. Yeah, because. I already do have long lashes and I wear glasses. Yeah. So most of the social eyes are pretty long, so that's why I picked out like a more neutral style for you. So I think I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics 1995 and mix it with the nude. Nude is more of a like warmer kind of color and this is just more of a yeah, it's warm also, but I don't know how to describe it. It's more like a darker. I'm not sure. I'm just talking rubbish. Yeah, just apply it. <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to apply the lashes. And I'm using your stuff. So there are our finished makeup looks and um, she managed to apply the lashes <laughs> <laughs> and um, I curled my hair just a little bit with one of the uh, new me ones. Uh, yeah, I'll Kim give has. my, I, I have a cu coupon code for it so I yeah, can give I'll, it to you so yeah, you can I'll put, put it the, the new me code for like the curling ones uh, down below mm -hmm. and um, uh, I applied the lashes and I also applied a little bit of black eyeliner onto my waterline yeah. and that's the only thing I did. I did not apply any eyeliner or anything to my top lash line. And um, yeah, I applied some more highlights because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I did not because as you can see my face she, is yeah, very, very shiny. shiny, but yeah. it's not, yeah, maybe it's too much in this lighting, but when I go outside, it just yeah, looks good. Yeah, it looks very natural when we go outside. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching us uh, get ready together. And um, on Kim's uh, channel, we have a video together as well. Yes. So make sure to check that one out. Maybe I will kind of link it here or maybe uh, in the down bar below. And um, yeah, make sure to check it out and to subscribe to her as well. And um, I will talk to you guys very soon again. Bye-bye. Have a Bye. lovely day.